Good morning. Right, um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to ream these bushings out for fitting in the wrist pins. So I'll put that bushing down there and uh, oh, I'll get a wrist pin out. These are for the cylinders, sorry, the pistons over there. Right, so difficult to do this one-handed so what, what I'll try and do is right, there you go right, so this has to slide in there and as you can see it's quite well that is a tight fit at the moment that is not going to fit at all so what I'll do is I'll just measure and I'll let you know what the difference is so uh, digital calipers set them on to inches because I'll get a more accurate well I'll get more numbers which got to be more accurate isn't it so the internal of that one forty Yeah, it's about 140, 142, and this is really, yeah, 142, 142. So, that gives me a rough measurement to work with, with that one. And, oh, hold on. Trying to do this one handed isn't easy. And put that. So, uh, I'm going to do this. Well, dude, I'll put you there and then. second I'll just pause it and I'll sort this out. Right, let's see if I can get this measured right now. Right, let's see. Right, so that's one forty one point seven four inches. Lock that off. Right, don't know if you can see that, but that's 0.866. So that's a couple of foul, uh, yeah, a couple of foul bigger than what this hole is at the moment. So I've gradually got to ream this to the correct size. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to use this adjustable reamer to start it off and then once I've got it very close to the size of this spring loaded cylinder hone that should just 
fit in there. It will do once. I'll get everything sorted out and then I'll get that adjusted and that'll fit in there nicely and then I can get that honed and then that should be a very good slip fit in there. First job though is I've got to drill out these oil holes because drill out them then I can start reaming it or smooth it all out very nicely in there so I'll drill, I'll drill them out, I'll drill them out on all of them and then I'll come back and show you because you know, drilling holes was you know, what's to see. All right, so see you in a bit. That's all of the oil holes drilled. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. All the oil holes drilled on all four of the con rods. I've put the one that goes with that wrist pin. I kept it separate because I'm going to try and match them. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'll just I'll fit the wrist pin to the con rod so that I'm happy with it like that. And then I know they're all done. I'll I'll use uh, cable ties to connect them together just to keep them together until I get the engine built. All right, so now what I've got to do is I've got to set up the reamer, which is basically, you loosen this top nut here, tighten this bottom nut here, pushes out the blades and then you measure the tip of the blades at the widest point and that tells you where you know the size that you're going to be reaming out to um, because this one measured what was it 0.844 I'm going to set the reamer to 0.844 first go through it because I've never done this before and you know I just want to take it slow and carefully I'm going to use a bit of light oil as a cutting lubricant I don't know what's the best I'm, I've got some free and one I'm going to give that a go I have it out or it's WD-40 or something like that something just light even though I know WD-40 is not a lubricant it's just you know water. anyway ignore that All right so yeah I'm gonna set these and start cutting I don't know whether I'll be able to film it because I, I can't fit the camera up anywhere oh I might be at oh I could fit it there couldn't I and you could sort of see what I'm doing There's a, if I put that there, yeah, that, that, that looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, right, I'll leave you there and I'll get on and do this and get this sorted out.
Well, that took a bit of time just to find two adjustable spanners, but uh, I'm building an engine in a 8x6 shed and it's pretty packed. I mean, that's, that's the amount of floor space I've got to work in. So, everything's in boxes. I've really, really got to expand my shed. I've just got too much stuff. So I need a bigger shed to fit more stuff in. But anyway, right. So. Measure this. <laughs> yeah, I've actually made that smaller. So, yeah, bear with me a bit. Getting that. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Right. 
might be able to tell by this that I'm no engineer. So, <coughs> you'll just have to Eight point four four. So point eight four four. Right, after plenty of faffing around and actually working out how these adjust, I think I've got this set now for the very uh, start of it. So I'm going to give it a go and then see what happens. Oh, I don't think I should have picked doing this today because I'm getting over that cold that's been going around. Fortunately, that's oh, wrong one. Right. Seems to be working. Oh. Seems to be working quite good. Let's 
jammed up there. The eyes aren't jammed. WD-40 might be a better one on this, so give it a bit of span of that. Yeah, still not the right size, so I didn't fuck it up too much. Sorry, I didn't muck it up too much. Yeah, so zero that. Inches on there. Yeah, a little bit, that's... It's 8.66 still. Right, so I'm going to switch you off. I'm going to get on and do this and concentrate. And then I'll come back when I've completed it. I hope. Um, I started to get the hang of it and this wrist pin is wanting to go in there now and that's pushing in there so I'm going to put the reamer aside I'll wrap that up ready for tomorrow because I'm only doing this one today it's um, still not over a cold and this is a bit anyway yeah so I'm gonna put the reamer aside and I'm gonna use the hone just hone it out gradually and get it to fit that way so I'll put you down and then we'll get on and get the hone sorted. Right. You stay there and can't afford a compressor or you've got nowhere to get it, get yourself some of these air duster cans. They'll... Oh, I'll do that again. Right, if you've got, if you haven't got space for a compressor or you can't afford one at the moment, get yourself some of these air duster cans used for com cleaning computers. They work really good. The dust air ones, because they've got the little trigger and the little nozzle, they really work for blowing out all the bits of metal and stuff like that. 
So well worth getting yourself a box of them if you can't get a compressor. Well, it looks like that cheap home that I've got is a piece of crap, so yeah, that's not working. Um, right, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to have to switch it off because battery's getting low. Uh, yeah, I'll have to think about this one. Right, I'll switch off and then I'll come back. Right, in the end, I uh, just had to adjust the ream up very very minutely each time and I just kept on going through once so yeah, kept on there we go, kept on going through once trying this and then eventually on that last one oh hold on let's clean that that's got a bit of a bit of muck on it because I don't want any right. so there you go that's there you 
coat. So I'm going to cable tie that to this conrod and that one's done. But that's all it I'm doing for today. That was uh, hard work. Mentally hard work. So yeah. Well let's you can see how to do it basically. Just give it a go and take it carefully and you will get there eventually. Oh, I might actually be a little loose but I'll measure that and I'll check it but that's how you bring them out. I think mean, the, what's the worst thing that can happen? If that's loose I get another push in and I do it again. So there you go. Right so that's it for now. I'll, thanks for watching and uh, catch up with you next time when hopefully I'm doing something a bit less stressful. Bye.